leading the way on air, online, and on the go. From WLWT, this is Issues. Hello, welcome to Issues. I'm Jan Michelle Lemon Kearney of Sesh Communications and the Cincinnati Herald. We have a lot going on today, as always. A little later, you're going to meet the new reigning Miss Black Teen Cincinnati. She was just crowned a few months ago, and you're gonna love her, she's fantastic. Also, we're gonna talk about the Midwest Regional Sweet and Natural Fest, and Daphne will kill me if I got the name wrong, but I think I got it right, but we're gonna talk to Daphne Thomas about that, really exciting. First, we're gonna talk about an agency that some of you know but many of you don't and we want you to get to know and it's the Cincinnati Area Senior Services and we have the president and CEO Tracy Collins. Hi. Hi, thank you for coming. So CASS, we call it CAS. We do. We Cincinnati do. Area Senior Services. We do. Well, welcome. Thank you, Jan, for having me. So we've seen the name, we've heard about it. I know a lot of people are very familiar with CAS, but for those who aren't, tell us what, do, what does CAS provide, what services? Well, Cincinnati Area Senior Services, as, as you talked about CAS, is a private nonprofit social service agency. We've been around, we're getting ready to go into our 50th year. Wonderful. And we are a social service agency pro providing services to seniors. So in Hamilton County, and we we advocate, we promote, we allow services to allow seniors to stay in their home. So in services that are relevant for them to stay in their home. And Give us some examples. And that's our mission. So our services are Meals on Wheels, oh, transportation. We have congregate meal sites at senior centers throughout Hamilton County. We have transportation in variety of settings and group transportation. Um, and I'm gonna talk about two programs specifically called SIT, Senior Independent Transportation. Oh, like and SIT, we have a yeah. shuttle, brand new shuttle service, which is in downtown. And we also provide guardianship services and case management services for um, seniors who just need a little bit more support and for families who need senior care coordination and those services for seniors. That is so good to know. I was gonna, a friend of mine called the other day and said that his mom was kind of, had, was showing early signs of dementia and he was, and she's living at home by herself and he was really worried mm -hmm. about that. And he's like, what agency should I call? So now we know. Cass is the agency to call. I'm gonna have to call, call you. That's yeah. perfect. The, the senior, the navigating the senior landscape is really difficult. And it we is, wanna be yeah. that resource for people to call if they have questions and they're just not sure what to do. And we try to be that one call, just try to figure out what to do. And it's it's scary, it's it scary. It is scary. I think it, with, with older parents, for example, you you know, everything is going along fine and suddenly you realize something's wrong. You go to the doctor, the mm -hmm. doctor gives a diagnosis and, and, then, and then what? You're right. kind of, and, and my friend who called me was like, I don't know what to do. Right. So, right. yeah, so that's right. good to know. And there's a lot of anxiety about, um, especially around transportation issues. There's a lot of anxiety about, you know, giving up the car or mom or dad, I, you know, I don't want them to drive anymore. And that's where our transportation services really come into play. Our shuttle services, which is our da downtown shuttle services, many people see our buses and see that blue and white the bus. The blue and white bus, yeah. And they're like, well, what is that? Or how do I get on that bus? Well, it's a free shuttle service. Wow. It runs downtown between a variety of stops, between a health clinic, between job and family services to the free store. They can go to our over the Rhine senior center where they can have breakfast or lunch wow. and if they're over 60 they can get on that shuttle they can go to the Newport shopping center and go to the grocery store wow. so it runs Monday and Tuesdays it runs between 8 a.m. and um, 2 between 4 p.m. so they can get on that shuttle oh, 8 a.m. to 4 8, p.m. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. so it's Wonderful. a continuous loop and they can run get on the shuttle they can get off at any of those stops and they can stop, they can do their business, they can get back on and a half an hour later, and they can get on at another stop and get off. That's fantastic. And it's and stop not, and have lunch at the at the Over the Rhine Senior Citizens. Finley Market they is included. They can stop at Finley Market That's if they want to. That's included as well, yeah. They can. So it just takes that, that, that anxiety out of getting on a, a large bus, a large metro bus. It takes that anxiety out of getting on into a cab, or I don't know when a cab. And if they can't afford it, it's not a service. Oh yeah, that cabs they, can be so expensive, right. yeah. So, and I love it, Tracy, because a big thing about getting older is people want to be independent. Absolutely. And, and they want to get going, they want to get moving, and that's why they, they don't want to stop driving, but driving might not be the best thing to do. That's, so, that's, so to have this free transportation, it's just awesome. And that's the, that's the purpose of our Senior Independent Transportation Program. 
it's it's a model where for caregivers for family members where you could call up and say you know hey I need to go to the hairdresser I need to go to the pharmacy I need to go to the doctor's office and I need that flexibility and it's a program that we design very much like a a uh, senior that doesn't want to navigate the technology side of transportation and they can call our transportation number which is 721-0375. Oh great and I, I know it's going to come up on the screen soon but meanwhile just say it again. So it's 7513-721-0375. They can call that number. They can talk to our transportation scheduler or our dispatch person in the office. They can say I, I need to go to if I want to go out with a group of my friends, if I want to go really in the evening if I need it. So they to can go. call it to go out and party? And Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely great. they can because That's they right. want to because right. we know that if you're home and if you're isolated and you can't get out that impacts your aging. It does. And so yeah. that's the purpose of the Senior Independent Transportation Program. So and that's it, Senior so, Independent Transportation. Right. So, so those are two different programs. So one, they can call that number, that's 721-0375 mm -hmm. and actually get, get free transportation to wherever. That's correct. And the second one is a shuttle that's running Monday and Tuesday at those stops from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. That's correct. So for that one, they don't need to call them. Nope. Just nope. show up. Okay, now tell us those stops again because there were several. Um, I know I had a list somewhere. One was... Uh, on the shuttle stop, so that is downtown. So there is, and they can call the same number for the okay. shuttle and they can get a list of those, stop, those stops. Okay. But there's a health clinic. It's Elm Street Health Clinic. It's Job and Family Services. It will take you over to the Newport Shopping Center downtown. It will also go to our Over the Rhine Senior Center, okay. Finley Market. So it's and the those, Kroger and the Kroger in Newport, I guess mm -hmm. that is, yeah. So oh, wonderful. which has pharmacy, which has a bank. So it encompasses all of those places where they need to get. That's fantastic. They can stay on. They don't have to get off at each stop. So it's a half hour, you know, lo continuous loop. Right. So they can get on at one. They can stay in a, a the Kroger for an hour. They can go into the senior center for two hours, knowing they can come back out and get back on the shuttle. That is great. They can go down to Job and Family Services if they have an appointment down there and they need to be down there for a couple hours, knowing that that shuttle will come back out and pick them back up. That is wonderful. So again, that number is five one three seven two one zero three seven five. That's correct for Cincinnati area senior services. Thank you, Tracy. That's Thanks. Correct. You'll have to come back. All right. Thank you. Great for information. Me. Thank, thank you. you. Stick with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back. Well, you guys know Daphne Thomas. She's always got something exciting going on. If it's not Sweet Sister Splash, it's something else. But today, it's totally something, it's completely different. And this is the Midwest Regional Sweet and Natural Fest. Yeah. Midwest Regional Sweet and Natural <laughs> Fest. That sounds exciting. It is. So tell us about it. So it actually started online. Um, I was on Facebook, something came through my feed. Um, Curly Fest is what it's called. It's something that Sisters and Brothers in Brooklyn um, do curly their, fest. the Curly okay. Fest. And so it was, the, the, the video was beautiful. There were people having a good time. They were talking about natural hair, why they oh. love their black beauty. And so I shared it on Facebook and um, a few people chimed in and said, we would love to do that here. If you do it, then good, we'll help. Good. So that's how the team, the Sweet and Natural team started. We've been planning it for about a year now. Wow. And it is coming up really soon. So, so, so tell us when when will it happen? So it's May twenty second okay. from two to seven at Washington Park. Okay, that's on a Sunday. That is on a okay. Sunday. Oh, and look, we've got this wonderful graphic that you sent us. So tell Yay. us to give us all that info, Daphne. So again, it's May twenty second from two to seven at Washington Park, um, which is downtown twelve thirty Elm Street is the address for Washington Park. Yeah, and people can't miss. Everybody knows it right behind yeah. SCPA or across from Music Hall, and there's exactly. plenty of parking. There's parking underneath. It's really cheap, and all around the streets, and it's a really fun place. So, what's going to happen at the Sweet Natural Fest? We have so much planned for the community with the Sweet Natural Fest. Uh, Sweet Sister Splash is hosting the Afro Swag, a fashion experience. Oh, that will be fun. Show. We have um, a hair show that'll be happening. Wow. We have hot and sweet topics.
weeks um, that include makeup, dem makeup demos, information about relationship, health, and wellness. Really? Wow. That'll be going on at some of the booths. We'll have a, um, a local hot DJ, a host. Wow. And um, most importantly, we'll have local vendors that'll be there. Um, so we're all about still supporting the economic empowerment of African American people here in the city and That's just fantastic. within the region as well. That so. is so great. So okay, so let's let's go to this whole natural thing. This is this is a movement really because so many people. I just went to, to visit my daughter in college, mm -hmm. and like everybody had natural hair. I mean, it was really beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. And then and she said it's it's practical as well. I mean, mm -hmm. she her hair is natural. It's like oh okay, this is nice. You know, you look really good. So 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 what what is this movement? Uh, well, I guess I think people are becoming more aware of the the health benefits of becoming natural, and also not putting um, chemicals in your hair. Not yeah. putting chemicals in your hair, which ultimately goes on your skin and then gets into your bloodstream, and right. then you know on that and makes off from me there. Nervous, yeah. Um, but also about embracing our own image and likeness. Um, and so while hair, I must say that while hair is a centerpiece for the event, it's not the only thing because a lot of us may not have hair for different reasons. Right. So um, hair is a centerpiece for the for the event, but it's also about culture celebrating our inherited beauty, um, our, our black culture, our African culture, whatever you identify with, and coming out and enjoying each other as well. Wonderful. Well, I like, so, the, so some of the topics, relationships, tell us about this. What, these will be at different vendor booths and people go in and talk about mm -hmm. issues yep. or, or workshops are going on. And there'll be different workshops going on depending okay. upon who the host for that particular topic is. Um, okay. It'll be called from the main stage and people can kind of make their way to different things that um, suit their taste oh, and see. interest okay. as the event is going on. That makes sense, so yeah. So we'll have a three-legged race, a potato really? race. There's oh a whole bunch God. of fun things going on that oh, really wow. gets people, you know, comfortable in who they are, which then makes it easier for people to build relationships with each other. And it sounds like men and women should men come. Men and women should And come. children, too. And yeah. children are welcome as well. Okay, now what about food? Are you going to have food there? We will have some um, vendors there with food, but it's it's, it's, it's and encouraged. And we're out in the park. You know, you know, we've got to eat. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are encouraging people to bring picnic blankets and baskets oh, of their nice. own, but there okay. will be local food vendors there as well. Cause, okay. I mean, you'll be there all day so yeah it'll be an opportunity to, to support them as well so. okay now let's talk about the fashion show what kind of fashions are we going to see oh you have to come to figure to see well, well so, <laughs> so it'll be local local um, designers local designers okay. will be there with some things that they're working on a lot of hot music and um, a lot of getting people engaged as well i was gonna say i, j I just hope there's some african fashions because the sister herald be. has nefertiti coming up june 18th and i'm yes. always looking for another african outfit i'm like oh, i've got to find something to wear mm -hmm. so yeah, so that'll be, I'll be looking for that, so Good. yeah. There'll be hair, head wrap tutorials. A lot of people are wondering oh. how to use fabric to wrap their hair and wear more cultural attire. I know you see attire. a lot of people with these beautiful head wraps. I'm like, how do they get the scar, you know, the wraps going like that? I yeah. mean, it's, yeah, it's kind of like tying a tie. Someone needs to show you how uh -huh. to do it. And so. once you got it, you got it, and you can get creative with it and have fun with it as well. Right, okay, so that's gonna be Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tell us again, Sunday. Sunday, May 22nd at Washington Park from two to seven. Okay, two to seven. Washington Park is right downtown. Um, mm -hmm. And it's obviously free. It's, it's open, free, to the public. open to the public. Lots of vendors. Now, can people still sign up to be vendors? Um, is it too late to be a vendor? I'm okay. going to say <laughs> kind of, sort of, if they get it to me soon, then maybe, okay. but uh, we'll try to work with everybody because we want to give everyone opportunity to be seen and to, to inevitably make some money. I was going to say, any event that Daphne plans, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be on, so you have to make sure you get in there early. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, give us a number, to, Daphne, any number to call for um, that? You can visit the website, okay. uh, www.sweetandnaturalfest.com and fill out form, uh, the form page if okay. you have any questions, or um, you can like us on Facebook and we respond very quickly on Facebook okay. as well. So we're going to make sure that we link you through WLWT.com yes. to, to Sweet and Natural Fest. Yes. Thank you, Daphne. Thanks for coming. You have to come Thank back you. soon. I will. Stick with us. We'll be back in a moment.
Well, a few weeks ago, Curtis Fuller and I had the complete honor of being the MCs for the Miss Black Teen Cincinnati pageant for 2016. We have our winner here today. Her name is Kiera Brene Patterson. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's super smart. And she actually sang at the pageant, but today we're going to have her play the violin. So listen to this. I'm just loving, the, oh, I'm loving listening to, to Kiara. It's so beautiful. Okay, let me introduce you to Kiara Brene Patterson, Miss Black Teen Cincinnati 2016. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And Sharon King, who is who does PR, and you do everything, really. I mean, you, you help Mr. Humphreys and Don Sherman with so much. I see you running around, and, you know, you work with the young ladies, and you do so much. Thank you for coming back, Sharon. Oh, my pleasure, Jam. So it was just, it was a fantastic pageant. What made you enter in the first place? Um, I attended the pageant um, last year in 2015, and I watched Naila Edwards just, she was extraordinary. She's great. And she is. when this year came, she really thought that I should do it, and it was something different, and I really got to showcase my talent, so that's How why. How wonderful I, that, that Naila encouraged you. I love that young yeah. woman encouraging others. I mean, that is so important. Let's lift each other up. That Empowerment starts always. early in life. Yes. yes, that is wonderful. So she, um, Naila, um, wasn't able to be there because she nope. was competing with the, with the Miss Ohio pageant. I understand she did very well there, but it was, it was just so wonderful. There were 10 of you, yeah. and you were all just fantastic. What was that like? It was an it was an amazing experience. I met new friends. Um, of course, three other girls went to my school, but SCPA, the other girls yeah. there were a lot of SCPA people there. A lot yeah. of talented young and your ladies. principal came. Yeah, yeah, they were all so talented, and everyone was nice. It was just a really good experience to get to be a part of something like that, and I loved all of our coaches. Everybody See, yeah. was amazing. It was just amazing. Sharon being one of them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> doing our small part to help encourage our local uh, young ladies excel at their innate talents. And I was I was trying to get you to remember how many years you've been working with the pageant. Well, I don't know if we I ever came up I first did the with... pageant uh, myself. I did Miss Black Cincinnati pageant. And the one thing about RHL pageants is you never really leave it. So. I would say that I've been working with Mr. Humphreys and Mr. Sherman uh, for as long as they've needed me. Right. <laughs> oh, because um, Lakesia Gaines was there yes. too, and I remember yes. she won one year for the Miss Miss I guess Miss Black Cincinnati yeah, pageant. Miss Angela yeah. Grayson. Oh, yeah, Angela Grayson. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. um, and also um, Dr. Tammy Brown. So yes. there were a lot of past winners, a lot of. and they're all stars. I mean, they're you know just really accomplished women. Yes. So that must have been great to see. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you have a platform? We were just talking about what kind of message do you want? Do you want your year to represent? I really just want to encourage the youth, especially through the talents, because I know for a while, my voice and my playing it wasn't being heard, and I just want to empower everyone to know that you can be heard through your so, talent. So, why do you think your voice wasn't being heard? You know, when you go to a really big school. <laughs> Sometimes you can feel as if, you know, you aren't as good as everyone else, but the pageant really helped me with that 
and it really allowed me to show everyone what I amazing? could do. You know what's so amazing? Naila said the same thing last year. So I mean, I'm just. Yes. I mean, she said she said that she didn't always feel confident, and I said, "What? Are you, you kidding?" Never know it, right? I mean, and I'm looking at you. Same thing. Was there ever a time you weren't confident? And you're saying the pageant. So, so even beautiful, accomplished, talented, yes. intelligent young ladies like yourself don't always feel that way. Yeah. And so that's something we really have to work on. And so I love the fact that you stepped out there, and that the pageant has helped you, and then you'll help someone else. Everyone's Absolutely. born with a gift. You know, everyone is born with a gift, and it is about, and Mr. Humphrey is, stands his foundation on bringing out the best. It's not a glamour pageant. Yes, these young ladies are innately beautiful. They are. Yet, you need that encouragement and that empowerment, and you need someone to fine-tune your gift, which Mr. Sherman does, as well as the Hammonds. You know, they right. are very talented, and they they work them. <laughs> They're good, yeah. It's it, it's a lot of work. It's not just, yeah, just you show up one night and you end up no. in a pageant. I mean, it's months and months yeah. of work. What was the hardest part about it? I think the hardest part about it all was just perfecting everything because I like to perfect everything. I know everything can't be perfect, but I was at home practicing my walk, practicing my singing, like it, everything. You oh, just have to practice just everything. She oh, was outstanding. Outstanding. Next time you come on, you have to sing for us too. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Now, I should, I should tell everybody that Kiara Brene Patterson is going to perform at the Cincinnati Herald's Bright Awards May 21st at the Dillard Center, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and we're really looking forward to that. Dr. Odell Owens is the keynote speaker. Uh, Ebony J is going to be the MC. It's going to be fabulous. So I'm we're just really excited. looking forward to it. Thank you so much. You'll, you'll have to come back. No, thank you. And, uh, Sharon, thank you for coming. Yes. Oh, and people the can pageant. sign up for the next one. The next pageant Tell us really fast out. as we go April out. April 27th of 2017. And if you want to sign up, if you want your daughters, 13 to 17, they cannot be a senior. The number is 513-368-8108, 513 513-368. 368-8108, 13 to 17, attend a local high school, and have a talent. Great. Thank you, Sharon. You got it all in. Thank you, Kiara. Thank you. Stick with us. We'll be back in just a moment. We have Tamiko Bobo with some community events. First up, we have All About Women, presented by the Abercrombie Group, Thursday, May 19th from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Paul Brown Stadium, Club East Lounge. Tickets are $125. For more information, call 733-1555. Next is African, African Liberation Day celebration presented by the Cincinnati Pan-African Coalition. Friday and Saturday, May 20th and 21st at Bond Hill Academy, 1510 California Avenue, featuring youth activities, food, vendors, edutainment. March and rally Saturday noon to 8 p.m. Last is a celebration of black music, also presented by the Abercrombie Group. Friday, Saturday, June 10th and 11th, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Horseshoe Casino. Tickets are $60. For more information, call 735-1555. All right, what's going on? Don't forget the Bright Awards, May 21st at the Dillard Center. You can go online to thecincinnatiherald.com. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay positive.